Kara Kuni, When Women Ruled the World, Six Queens of Egypt. Embark on a captivating journey through ancient Egypt, a land where women once wielded immense power in a world of divine kingship. In the book, When Women Ruled the World, Six Queens of Egypt, by Kara Kuni, we explore the trials, tribulations, and accomplishments of six powerful women who defied patriarchal norms to shape Egypt's storied past. Discover the stories of Mernith, Neferuzebek, Hatshepsut, Nefertiti, Tawasret, and Cleopatra, and how they navigated and thrived in a male-dominated society. As you dive into the summary, be prepared for enlightening insights into divine mythology, regal incest, intrigue, and resilient female leadership. Women's Rule in Ancient Egypt In ancient Egypt, divine kingship was established with the first of the twenty royal dynasties. The king was considered a divine representative with absolute authority, but female rule was not unheard of. Although the regency system was largely patriarchal and authoritarian, it had a representative of the divine feminine in the goddess Isis. Women played essential roles in royal lineages as strategic peacekeepers and protectors of the kingship, even acting as regents for young kings. Despite having short reigns, some of these women accomplished as much as their male counterparts, but their names have been forgotten. Queen Mernith, the first female ruler of Egypt. Queen Mernith, daughter of King Jur of Dynasty I, grew up in the royal palace in Memphis and observed the king's duties up close. After her brother Jet became king, he asked her to be his wife. When Jet died prematurely, his toddler son Den was too young to rule, so Queen Mernith became queen regent. She arranged her husband's burial and ensured a smooth transition of power by sacrificing power-hungry relatives. Queen Mernith ruled for her son for six or seven years, until he was old enough to do so himself. She was honored with a king's burial despite never officially taking the title of king. Queen Mernith's story is known from inscriptions in royal burial complexes, temples, and monuments and the Palermo Stone lists her as king's mother alongside the male kings of dynasties 1 through 5. The High Cost of Royal Incest Incest among Egyptian royalty was not only acceptable but was considered the ideal way to maintain power and wealth within a close-knit family circle. However, this practice had its drawbacks, including costly ailments and deformities from inbreeding and the risk of sterility, leading to succession crises. Neferuzebek, the first woman to claim the title of king, had to legitimize her reign to stabilize the country during a social crisis but was plagued by droughts, hunger, and palace elites scheming against her. After just four years of rule, her mysterious death led to the downfall of her dynasty, and it would take another 500 years for a woman to claim the kingship once more. The Reign of Hatshepsut Hatshepsut was a powerful ruler of Egypt who aggressively promoted her leadership as divine will. She inherited her father's determination and leadership skills and expanded Egypt's borders, enriched elites, built temples, and promoted trading ventures. After her death, her nephew and former co-king attempted to erase all records of her achievements. However, evidence of her reign as a power broker and monarch remains throughout Egypt. Nefertiti, a queen beyond beauty. Nefertiti, the famous bust at the Egyptian Museum of Berlin, is known for her beauty. However, recent evidence suggests that Nefertiti was more than just a pretty face. She was the great royal wife of King Amenhotep IV, a devout ruler who attempted to establish a radical new religion of light by defunding old temples, leaving behind old court cities, and erecting a new capital city in the middle of Egypt. When historians believe that Nefertiti died, she just reinvented herself as Akhenaten's new male co-king and later attempted to restore the country she bankrupted after Akhenaten's radical attempts. Before Nefertiti died, she began preparing the next king, eight-year-old Tutankhamun, whose famous gold tomb was found by Egyptologist Howard Carter in 1922. Archaeologists say that this tomb is just the entrance hall to a much bigger, more lavish grave, that of Nefertiti. The female pharaoh who stood alone. In a society where women were systematically suppressed, 
Queen Tawasret used unorthodox measures to gain power and became the first woman to rule Egypt unaccompanied. Her reign was short-lived, and she met an untimely end at the hands of Setnacht, but she paved the way for future female rulers in Egypt. The book explores the political and social complexities of ancient Egypt, where decentralization led to more competition among elite families and a curtailment of female authority. Cleopatra, the Last Queen of Egypt Cleopatra was the last queen of Egypt and a member of the Greek Macedonian Ptolemaic dynasty. She was named co-ruler at the age of 14, but her younger brother, Ptolemy XIII, drove her into exile. Cleopatra later returned with the help of Julius Caesar, with whom she had a son. After Caesar's assassination, she consolidated her power in Egypt by poisoning her brother and allying with Mark Antony. However, their alliance sparked a war with Rome that ended in defeat for Egypt. Antony committed suicide, and Cleopatra poisoned herself rather than be captured by the Romans. Embracing Emotional Leadership, The Lessons of Egypt's Female Rulers Cleopatra, along with other female leaders in ancient Egypt, was able to keep her country safe and advance its interests by using a distinct leadership style. Female leaders were often only permitted to rule in times of crisis when it supported patriarchal succession. However, their emotional leadership style, which is associated with empathy, prudence, and pragmatism, can be a tool for consensus building in times of trouble. Women are often labeled as emotionally sensitive and selfish, and the author discusses how Hillary Clinton's loss in the 2016 presidential election illustrates this. The book's summary suggests that male leaders often make hot-headed decisions that lead to war because they are conditioned to limit their emotional range to things like anger. The author argues that these challenging political times call for the recognition of the qualities of female leadership, which can get the job done just as well as any man. In a time and place where women were often underestimated, these six queens of Egypt proved their worth in the face of adversity. They achieved unprecedented political and military success, even though their stories became faded or forgotten. However, the essence of their unwavering determination still resonates today, reiterating that female leadership can prevail during uncertain times. And, when women ruled the world, six queens of Egypt, Karakuni showcases these remarkable stories, highlighting the distinct qualities of female leadership demonstrated by the likes of Hatshepsut, Nefertiti, and Cleopatra. The book serves as a powerful reminder of the integral role women have played throughout history and that their wisdom and capabilities are essential in today's tumultuous world.